Hey, so I want to make a quick one about protocols, boundaries, and non-negotiables, right? I had a late night client call last night. Sadie says, hello. Late night client call last night and an early client call this morning. And we talked about some important things here, and that is protocols, boundaries, and non-negotiables. What I'm going to say, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, right? But society today has a lot of people that get offended. And people get offended because they get triggered. And people get triggered because they don't know how to withdraw their emotions from setting a boundary, okay? And I learned this the hard way. This shit took me like 15 years to learn. So I'm going to tell you what I know in like the next two minutes. So save this one for later. But with every client, whether they're working on personal stuff, life tactic stuff, or they want to work on their business, you have to have protocols, boundaries, and non-negotiables. And I want you to create a Word document or something on your, the notes app of your phone. And I want you to define what you think they are and then come back to this video. But I'll tell you right now, right? A protocol, excuse me, let's start with boundaries. A boundary is a physical, mental, or emotional boundary that you set, that you are aware of. So I don't like when people get in my personal space or touch me without my consent, right? I never had any issues, no trauma as a child or anything. I just, I like me and my space. So when someone impedes that, I say, hey, back up, right? You're a little too close. You're putting me in a defensive thing, right? Someone steps in closer, I go, hey, I back up, right? And if they continue to approach, then I will engage, right? I'm a big jujitsu guy. And I just don't like when people are too close to me, right? I also don't like when people disrespect me. So if someone calls me a name or says something mean that I really don't like, I stop them right there. I say, hey, please don't speak to me that way. I don't want to be engaged with that way. If you continue to engage me this way, I will withdraw and give you less attention. That's what a protocol is. So a protocol is something that you do. A or B happens, you do X and Y, right? So it's just kind of your reaction to someone approaching a boundary or someone crossing a boundary, right? The key here is to list these out. So if I write out what I perceive a boundary to be, then my protocol becomes you know, non-emotional, so to speak, in that aspect. Say, come on. Hey, good morning. How are you? Yeah. Anyways, I teach a lot of my clients this because you have to have boundaries and protocols. And when you write them down on paper, you take the emotion out of them. Then you're able to communicate freely without emotion and say, hey, you're getting too close to me. Or, hey, I really don't want to be spoken to like that. And you can set these boundaries and protocols in personal relationships, dating relationships, business relationships, or just friendships, right? And these are really, really healthy ways to communicate. You're not going to hurt any feelings. And instead, what you're going to do 99 times out of 100 is you're going to gain confidence from that person for setting and communicating a boundary effectively. And you're also going to have confidence for yourself, right? This is what increases your self-worth over time. Lastly, non-negotiables. Protocols and boundaries are great. But if you don't have non-negotiables, things that you do every single day to move the needle for your life, like... Every single day, I work on one aspect of one of my businesses, at least at the minimum, for an hour. And then every single day, I also get in some type of fitness, right? Whether it's just my steps, or whether it's a full active recovery, or whether it's some really hard workouts like I did this morning. Non-negotiables are things that you do every single day, right? Meditation, journaling, reading 10 pages doing some breath work, right? Grounding yourself, barefoot, whatever it is. Spending time with the people that you love the most, right? Hi. Whatever these things are, you have to actively do these non-negotiables and it really helps if you write them down. Because when you know the things that give you energy versus take it away, your life becomes much better because you do more of the things that give you energy and less of the things that take it away. Those are your non-negotiables, okay? So if you have any questions, please comment below. I love teaching people this. And I had two great conversations with my clients who are actively creating their list as we speak. So hit me up, message me if you need or want more or go to my site and book a free call and we'll teach you some cool stuff. All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace.